Well, the Forum of Opposition Political Parties says it wants to hold President Cyril Ramaphosa accountable in relation to the Pala Pala saga. The forum consists of 11 organizations represented in South Africa's parliament. The forum released a statement following its meeting in Ekuruleni in Gauteng. The move comes hot on the heels of the release of the Section 89 expert panel report, which found, among others, that the president may have a case to answer in the Palapala matter, where uh, U.S. dollars were allegedly stolen from the president President's Limpopo Farm. The Forum of the Opposition Parties comprises of the DA, EFF, IFP, ACDP, UDM, NFP, ATM, COPE, EFF, ER, Freedom Front Press, rather, and the PAC. They unanimously agreed that Tuesday's sitting of a Parliament should ensure that an impeachment committee is set up. Well, opposition parties, Al Jamaa and the Good Party, we're not part of that meeting. Now, let's discuss this. We are now joined via Zoom by Al Jamaz Khanif Hendricks. He, of course, is the party's president. Good afternoon to you, sir, and thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much. Now, talk to us about the reasons behind why you uh, are not a uh, part of First of all, we're not part of Friday's forum for the opposition parties meeting. And what your position in Parliament will be on Tuesday? Look, uh, we have uh, two weeks to go uh, before the governing party uh, elects a new president. And uh, it is, uh, they, they are the governing party. They've got a mandate uh, to elect a uh, president and also to change presidents and parliament will then uh, consider their uh, appointment and uh, the ANC has the numbers so uh, whatever recommendation comes from that meeting uh, will count. So Al Jama feels that it is unnecessary to throw the country into a turmoil for two weeks and to engage on uh, 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 impeachment. Uh, we feel that uh, maybe President uh, Ramaphosa uh, should take a break, uh, maybe take leave uh, for the two weeks. And obviously the uh, deputy president will stand in. And that means the presidential team will remain stable. The cabinet ministers will remain stable. And for the next two weeks leading up uh, to the uh, conference, the elective conference of the African National Congress, there will be stability in the country. We have to think of the interests of the South African citizens. And uh, we know that this is all about factional fighting, uh, that uh, this uh, uh, um, matter leading up to impeachment is intelligence driven. They've planned it, uh, planned it for quite a while. And um, it's all about factional uh, interests. And I think the interest of the country comes first and what we need for the next two weeks uh, is, uh, is stability and we just have to be patient and wait until the elective conference and she would the governing party appoints as uh, president and uh, nominates as uh, president uh, going forward. Uh, we know that there is a damning report uh, uh, that came from uh, two judges and a very senior and respected advocate. al respects uh, their findings. It is just a uh, recommendation to members of parliament going forward. Um, the Parliament does not need a panel uh, to put a motion uh, in Parliament and to debate it and to, and to deal with it. So even if there are flaws in the report, uh, that doesn't matter now. They've served their purpose. It is history. I don't know why the President wants to take it on review. I don't know why we want to spend so much time in Parliament about this. We need to wait for the elective conference of the governing party. Uh, the people have elected the African National Congress as the governing party. They've got 50% plus one and more votes. And that's what we voted for. And that is our lot. That is our fate. 
We just have to be patient. So for two weeks to throw the country into turmoil, I think that is very anti-revolutionary. Uh, Mr. Hendricks, uh, you know, the stability of the country notwithstanding, uh, you, you also have to appreciate why they want to form this forum, which would then call for an impeachment investigation to go underway. Because as you've also mentioned, you know, one of the tasks by Section 89 uh, report on the panel was to determine if there were grounds for Parliament to institute impeachment proceedings against uh, President Ramaphosa. And indeed, they found, you know, that the president may have violated his oath of office and has a case to answer to. So are you not concerned then about just some of the seriousness of these allegations? I mean, uh, I understand your concerns in terms of wanting stability in the country, but this is a president who is supposed to put the country first. No, I understand. And like I said earlier on, irrespective of what people are saying, uh, the report, the Palapala report uh, that has been presented to our speaker is very alarming. But we have to be very practical. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's not going to be a train smash to wait for two weeks. And I think it's the responsibility of the governing party uh, to take what you have said into account when they elect a, a new president because the president's office in the ANC expires and uh, they now have uh, a right to elect a new president. So the country now uh, 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 calls the um, calls the African National Congress leadership to account. The voters have put their confidence in them. They now have to show leadership. And let's assume that they re-elect President Ramaphosa as president. Then yes, we can then uh, uh, have a debate. We can, if the debate is successful, we can. There can be. Uh, a uh, committee appointed to look at, to recommend to Parliament whether he must be impeached. That takes a whole full year. If you look at what's happening to the public protector, these things take time. It's very expensive. It's very costly. And uh, I think that the nation must be patient and wait for the governing party, which happens to be the ANC, uh, to give uh, leadership. And uh, if opposition parties are still, uh, if, the, if, if, uh, if President Ramaphosa is elected, uh, they're quite welcome then to, to start the proceedings. But we know that the African National Congress has the numbers. So when it comes to voting, unless there are renegade ANC members, uh, you will find that the motion uh, to form a committee will not succeed. So why throw the country into turmoil now? Uh, let us be practical. It's just another 10 or 11 days before the elective conference. And then after that, certainly opposition parties can debate. Uh, the president can defend himself if he is re-elected. And I feel that's a more practical solution than trying to throw the country into turmoil. We don't want uh, July 26, 20, July unrest again. We know that all this is orchestrated by intelligence forces and they want to create havoc like they created uh, in, uh, uh, in the last uh, insurrection. And uh, we must not allow the intelligent forces to run the country. The people must govern. Mr. Khanif uh, Hendricks, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Of course, he is the president of uh, political party Al-Jamaa.